It's funny but also appalling that in some countries you face the death penalty for cannabis. Reefer Madness was a persuasive piece of propaganda, but hanging? That's why it's important to see whether these fears are realised when a country does decriminalise drugs. What happens? Does drug use rise? In Portugal we have a case study. Since 2001, drug possession is no longer a criminal offence. I want to introduce Russell to one of my heroes, Joao Goulart from Portugal, who introduced the big decriminalisation of Portugal. Oh, pleasure to meet you. Now we have uh, 11, 12 years of, uh, of the, those policies in practice, so we acted uh, as a living laboratory. What are the most uh, positive and negative surprises? The most uh, positive is decrease in the number of AIDS infections. That was really AIDS dramatic. AIDS infection dramatically dropped. Dramatic. Yes. Uh, we have uh, a small increase in the average use of uh, illicit uh, substances among general population. Small increase small in increase. recreational use. Yes, but on crime, uh, there's a decrease in the petty crimes. Because I suppose the live experiences nullify the conservative arguments to keep things the same. We don't know what would happen, it's dangerous, there will be crimes, these places will become drug havens. In Portugal this hasn't been the case. Ah, so this is really good news. With drug-related deaths down an impressive 75%, their policy of sending addicts to treatment rather than court and prison seems to be working well. It's now supported by all the politics. Even the most even, conservative yes, even parties those who voted return. against. Uh, no one would go back. No. To hear the other side, I asked Mike to introduce me to someone from a part of the world extensively involved in drug trafficking and production, but where drugs are still illegal. I'm the chairman of what we call West African Commission on Drug. I wonder if it would work for the whole planet. The, uh, the experiment has been tried in Portugal and Switzerland and the legislation has been tried in Uruguay. Well, what do you I, think? I, I believe that we should keep our eyes on those uh, experiments. Let, let's call them experiments. Just call them experiments. Yeah, let's call them experiments. Um, They're experiments? Yes. Yeah. Now, if the, those experiments succeed... How long? It's too early. Let's give it five years. Another five years? Then yes. we can say, after then, five years, yeah, we can say we this can has been a good experiment. Yeah. Despite his talk of waiting five years, a couple of months later I read that the West African Drug Commission changed policy. It now says the harms of criminalisation far outweigh those of decriminalisation. So all drug use should not be considered a crime, but a matter of public health.